had lots of requests to uh, do more to show people how to grow mushrooms on the cheap. So I'm starting out with um, just a blister pack. I bought some pastries at Safeways uh, uh, about a week ago. And uh, so the first thing we're going to do is I've sterilized this by uh, basically uh, pasteurized it by rinsing it out with really hot water so we have a clean container and you want to start with a clean workspace. All right, just like in the previous video, I've uh, cut pieces of corrugated cardboard to length and uh, to fit in the container and then I'm running hot water over it and I'll let it soak for about 15 minutes so that it will separate and uh, and yeah, mainly so it'll separate. And I'm using hot water which pasteurizes it. If you're, I've had a lot of questions about uh, don't you have problems with contamination? Yes, you can. However, most of the things that cause contamination in mycological growing uh, prefer grain. They don't really like to grow on cardboard. So this pasteurization seems to take care of about 99% of the contamination, which means temperature, water temperatures of about 160, which this isn't re really, this is probably only 130 degree, 135 is I think what I keep my um, water heater at, so it's not really all that hot, but it's hot enough apparently to do the job. When you're at the grocery store looking for a good oyster mushroom, you want to find one like this that's already myceliating. See all this white stuff is mycelium starting to already start starting to grow out of the mushroom. This is the kind you want to start with. All right, once the cardboard has uh, soaked enough to separate and you've drained it, you want it at field capacity, not field saturation. Uh, and field capacity basically is, um, this is probably a little bit too wet, but I'm not going to worry about it. Field capacity is holding water so that uh, it's soaked but it's not dripping and you don't get water off of it. I'm still getting water off of this but I'm not going to worry about it. And so you separate the uh, corrugate from the non-corrugate and uh, I like to put all the non-corrugate on the bottom just as kind of a moisture um, sink. And then you take the mushroom that I showed you uh, that I got at the store which as you can see if you look closely you can see there's mycelium uh, already growing on it and I like to cut a piece off first so that we're kind of getting a clean inside this is actually a relatively sterile area and if you've uh, sterilized your your knife then this is essentially sterile material in here and you just cut a couple bits of this Whoops few small pieces and put them in the cardboard like that put more corrugate on top I like to do multiple layers um, let's see pull this apart a little bit oh Look at the mycelium growing in there. So this has already got mycelium growing on it. So you know that this is going to run like crazy. Um, this mushroom, this oyster mushroom, is already trying to for the to get mycelium to run just from being harvested and kept in. And if you look closely there, you can see there's mycelium growing all over it. You know, it's been kept in a, a relatively high humidity environment uh, while it was shipped to the store, and that encouraged the mycelium to uh, to run. There's some more, and so I know that this is going to run very quickly. Yeah, we'll put this on top. A little bit more, as you can see, quite a bit more water has drained off. I don't want that to stay in here. Too much moisture is as much of a problem as not enough. And uh, this container probably will not stay all that airtight. In the previous video I said uh, burp it. Don't. Um, don't burp it. Alright, apparently I'm having battery issues with my camera and it cut off in the middle of an addendum I did. Uh, basically, I, I cut some of the corrugate into strips 
and put it in here um, so that when the mycelium has run through this it, it'll be a lot easier to put these strips into media that we will grow the actual mushrooms in like uh, I'm going to do pasteurized straw and coffee grounds as a demonstration I'm going to carry this video all the way through to produced mushrooms so I, I cut the strips and put them in there and you know, once you seal this up don't burp it um, like I said in the previous video because it will it doesn't need that much air exchange and this is not an airtight container neither are the snap-on lid containers that I used in the other one if you have an airtight container you need to allow for some air exchange but not much you want high humidity and a dark environment so I'm gonna put this in a uh, in my little wine cooler cabinet so here's the wine cooler cabinet I bought it at Goodwill for $15 the compressor doesn't work so the, all that really works in this is the light and this is where I store um, my various jars of media while they're incubating we have uh, blue oyster mushroom mycelium uh, this is on grain mixed with coffee I also have it on uh, wooden dowels and uh, king oyster on grain which is uh, doing remarkably well and I have shiitake and uh, other types of my oyster and other mushrooms that I'm growing shiitake I'm really happy with last time I did shiitake on dowels I had contamination this time I've got a, a good clean start and hopefully there won't be any contamination and I'll have um, shiitake myceliated dowels to put in logs soon so yeah this is where I do the incubation uh, any dark place where the temperature stays relatively uniform uh, is a good place for you to do the incubation so once you've um, trimmed off the uh, bits for running the mycelium you take what's left of the mushroom and you fry it up